back to another episode of Mixing with Robin. Today we are going to make fruity pebble treats. Okay, I just want everybody to know look at this little green box up here. This says gluten free. Did you realize that you could take the cereal fruity pebbles and mix it with the same ingredients that you make Rice Krispie treats with? Okay, I've put my stick of butter my large bag of large marshmallows into my pan and slowly melting them down to get them nice and creamy. And I'm gonna add that secret ingredient, sweetened condensed milk. We are gonna only add about half of this sweetened condensed milk in to this mixture and make it oh so good. So when you put the sweetened condensed milk in, I feel like it kind of brings everything together and just gives it another level of goodness. So please try it. And by the way, subscribe. Let us know how you like cooking with us. Let us know if you like it. Give us a like on here. And always, always, if you try the recipe, let us know what you think, okay? We'd love, love to hear from you. So once everything is creamed, I've just creamed in the sweetened condensed milk with the marshmallows. They're getting nice and creamy and mixed up. And we're just about ready to dump in our box of the Fruity Pebbles. These are gonna go in and we're gonna put them in a nine by 13 pan that I have buttered. I just take that stick of butter that I put in the pan and I run it around the sides and the bottom to get it nice and buttery and ready for our fruity pebbles to go into. So these are just about, you can see they're starting to, there's just a few that need to cream up just a little bit more. And now we're gonna dump in our fruity pebbles. And I do, people say you use the whole box. I do, I do use the whole box. There they go. But remember, these are gluten-free and these are the best treats to make. And everything else is just your marshmallows and your sweetened condensed milk that's in them. But they are so good. And they're super bright and colorful. And I'm not kidding you. These will be the most requested treat ever by people once they try these. They fall in love with the Fruity Pebbles. So I hope, hope that you enjoy them as much as my family and everybody does. So we will be back and I'll show you how these turn out once I get them into the dish. All right, before we dump them into our dish, I always like to add just a couple of little handfuls of the miniature marshmallows right when everything is still nice and toasty and they get just ever so slightly melted and it just adds a little more color. And just so you know, everything in this dish that we're making today is gluten-free. So try it, especially those of you that cannot have the gluten, this has been the best treat ever to have, a little sweet treat that is gluten-free and colorful and just absolutely looks fun. So try it, look at that. You just press it into your nine by 13 pan and then you've got the fun little marshmallows floating in there. And let me tell you, when you bite into that, those are the best. So we will come back and I will cut one of these out and show you and probably even take a bite because they're that good. All right, we just took our Fruity Pebbles. I popped them in the fridge so that they could get set up a little bit. Oh my goodness, these are so good. So, so good. These are still a little bit. They're a little bit sappy. That's why my mom used to say, these are the best. I just want you to know you will love, love, love these. So I'm gonna indulge one more time. Mm. Stringy goodness. They have a little bit different texture than your normal Rice Krispie. 
they got a little bit crunchier and the fruitiness is so good you got to try these you will absolutely love them and enjoy i hope you've enjoyed this segment of fruity pebbles and remember these are gluten-free everything in it is gluten-free so try these as a treat for somebody who has to pass on a lot of stuff because of the gluten that's in it try these out you will love them also don't forget Every day is not going to be a good day, but there is good in every day. So go find the good and take it and share it with someone.